Bell sounds Texas Tornado Tag Team action. All four men in the ring at once. It is tornado rules here on, uh, on a night that has already been wild and I suspect will only get wilder. Brad Stutz and Cecil Scott are in the booth. Uh, the, the, the riot has attacked Andrew Everett who just missed 10 months on the show. He was just cleared to return to action a couple weeks back. Uh, referees and officials are checking on him now, but we've got tornado tag team action in the ring. A long, storied history between these men, Cecil Scott, that you know a great deal about. Yes, sir, especially with, you know, with Rob McBride and the Mecca Mercenary. It's a feud that goes back a good four some years, four or five years. I was Mecca's partner at the time when that feud started. And of course, Eric Biggs was trained by Rob the Boogie Wiggy Man McBride, the Boogie Cousins, I like to call them. Yeah, yeah, this is uh, the first match back for Mecca after that bad shoulder injury. Absolutely. Mecca was sidelined for a number of months with shoulder injury. However, with, uh, oh, God, yeah. right in the rectal region there. I think Joey wants to smell it. Oh, Jesus. Uh, with Dangerous E, Corey Edsel now on the shelf indefinitely with a back injury. Had, had chronic back problems that have plagued Edsel for close to a decade. Uh, Mecca Mercenary basically almost being uh, reactivated, you might say, after yeah. being on the sidelines for, rebooted. for these months. Yeah, and he's kind of filling in for Edsel. Edsel been calling out Big Pride for months now. Man, it almost makes you wonder the convenience of, of that, that chronic back injury. Edsel does have a legitimate back problem. Yes, he does. But, but it almost is the timing does make you wonder. Edsel not here tonight. And he always seems to be talking about McBride when McBride is not here. Right, and when McBride is here, Edsel is usually nowhere to be found. Nevertheless, it is Mecca and McAllister, former Mid-Atlantic Tag Team Champions here against Aaron Biggs and Rob McBride. Sis is on the outside. You've got to be mindful of Sis, who uh, undeniably scored the biggest win of her career to date earlier tonight against Crazy Mary Dobson in that absolute war. My new bae. Crazy oh, Mary. God, he took oh, Aaron Biggs' God. face off. And you want to talk about an old rivalry. Two, only two. Yeah, it was Aaron Biggs was uh, still in wrestling school. He was still in training, a security guard here at the Mid-Atlantic Sportatorium who Mecca Mercenary began to bully and it ultimately uh, led to Aaron Biggs' first match being with the Big Mecca uh, after he completed his training. But, you know, he was just, Aaron Biggs was just doing the, the normal trainee stuff, you know, sweeping the floors and, and helping set up rings and take them down and helping fans to their seats. And for whatever reason, I mean, you were uh, kind of a part of that. For whatever right. reason, Mecca Mercenary just picked on this, this, uh, this, this, other, this other big kid, maybe uh, that Me been. Mecca wanted to be the dominant big man in the building, perhaps. That may have been my fault a little bit. I said some bad stuff about it, but. Cecil instigator, Scott. I did call him boy a couple times, but that's in the past. I like Aaron Biggs. Demolition style offense from these two. And it's good to, like him or not, it is good to see Rage and the Machine back. Yeah, former Mid-Atlantic Tag Team Champions. They, oh, cover! Two! Nope. They were dominant champions, and they've got these two down right now. Yes, sir, and it's a, another case of they've got more experience as a team. And you know what, speaking of Edsel, this is the strangest thing. He's been, like, he's just been sending me all kind of weird text messages all week. He's like uh, just really rambling, just kind of nonsensical stuff. He's a weird dude. Um, I, I've he known, told me that he's supernatural. I, I've known Corey Edsel for a number of years. Him and him like have a, have a friendship that goes back to the 90s and I don't know, something about failing to become the Mid-Atlantic Heavyweight Champion again. Uh, you, you hear people say sometimes that something snapped. Uh, something in that man is not the same. Biggs using that power. He's, He's moving a, around pretty well after that foot injury. Absolutely. He missed several months with a, with a fractured ankle and injury I know all about. He's, he's moving around fairly well. Calling for his mentor, the Boogie Woogie Man. They've got McAllister compromised here. Mecca hurting. McAllister, this could be all right here. They could put him down. Oh, oh God. And the hips don't lie to the side of the head. Will you stop? <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, oh. Mecca. Man, this has been an ugly fight. No, this monstrous human being. And now it is down really to the two men that this rivalry started with. Everything that has happened really the last five or so years sprung forth from these two men. Lifetime rivals. Mecca 
of charges. Now he got the boot up. And there's the veteran McBride. Mecca is unfazed. Hit the buckle. Sternum first. McBride got oh, oh, he got him in his Got him. Put his own weight on his shoulders and he beat him. Great move from the veteran. Watch out, McAllister insists. Both of them jumping on McBride here. They have won the match. Match is over. And Aaron Biggs is nowhere to be found right now. Match is over, but the dangerous E. Lions is still jumping on McBride here. Yeah, this man handling McBride three on one. We need to get staff or referees or somebody yeah. out here. Where are the trainees? Everybody might still be with Andrew Everett. He was in bad shape, mumbling. Oh, and McBride's in bad shape right now. Barely Aaron conscious taken out. was Andrew Everett just a few moments ago in Mecca. They're just ragtagging McBride in the buckle there. And Mecca's out here in front of him. He's got, he just unearthed something from underneath the ring. He's got scissors. Mecca's got scissors. Oh, God, are they going to kill Rob McBride? Oh, my God. Hold on. Hold on. Sis cannonball. All the body weight in the buckle. McBride is on Dream Street. And Dangerous E. Corienza, we've always called him the general of the Dangerous E. Lions, but it's Mecca that's calling the shots right now. And I don't like these guys with scissors. Oh, God. We need some help out here. Oh, oh God. my God. Oh, gonna, God. Oh, oh, they're going to oh, cut the beard. They cut the beard of McBride. Oh, my God. They're cutting the beard of Rob the Boogie Woogie Man McBride. Horrible. He said it was for Corey. Dangerous E has put the hit out on McBride here. And Corey Ansel's presence, he's not here, but he is felt. Oh man, he's got a huge chunk of it. Wait, oh God, wait, hold on, Biggs. Aaron Biggs is up. Biggs is back. And mm. God, you gotta watch out. The man's got scissors in the ring, Jesus. Biggs, clearing house. Oh God, he took this down. Here comes McAllister, he goes down. Biggs is feeling it. Oh God. Oh, right in the side of the head. This thing is complete chaos. Man, they, I don't even want to think about how far this would have went if Aaron Biggs didn't regroup. Wait a minute, what is, Biggs is talking to McBride. But the big man is left alone in the ring, Cecil Scott. Yes, he is, his partners are gone. And those scissors are in the hands of McBride. Crowd is calling for it here. They want to see it. Are they going to return the favor? They may cut that mask off his face. They may cut a nose off. This could get really gruesome. There's no telling what McBride would do. The big man has got Mecca. Oh no. Oh my God. Everyone is down. Oh no, they cut the beard of Mecca. Oh my God, he's snipping away, they got it. It's a pretty clean cut though. Like a trophy. Rob McBride is leaving here with the Mecca Mercenaries beard. As if McBride doesn't have enough body parts and jars at home. Oh, geez almighty. This one has been as wild as we anticipated. Yeah. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here with Texas Story in five minutes, 15 seconds. Okay, man. Come on, man.